Goodbye and welcome back to another fantastic episode of Minecraft Story Mode, episode 6, a portal, a portal to mystery, I believe. Well, it doesn't matter. Let's just get on with it. So, bring me a Lizzie. Can you bring in Lizzie? Right. Jesse, listen. There's been a lot of talk thrown around today. I don't know what people have told you. I don't know what you believe. But I'll just admit it. I want that enchanted flint and steel as much as anyone. Probably more than any of them. I've been searching for it for years. Do you know how much it's stung to have Dan, Dan, swoop in and take it from under my nose? So aggravating. Oh, and so that's why you invited everyone here, huh? To find out who stole it. I wouldn't waste my time in all these white pumpkin games. Listen, I just want to get out of here and get on with my day. What do you have to hear to be convinced that the white pumpkin isn't me? I'm just gonna be straight. Who do you think stole the flint and steel? Well, it wasn't me, if you're curious. If I had an enchanted flint and steel, I'd be off exploring some other world with it. Okay. Between you and me, though, I think Dan's whole story about it being stolen from him is a load of trash. I bet he's still got it. You like using redstone? Ever make traps with the stuff? I'm fine, I guess. Lights, doors, that sort of thing. Dan was always way better than I was, though. You wouldn't believe some of the stuff I've seen that guy build. Crazy conveyor belts, hopper systems. Traps would be no problem for him. Know what this is? Tipped arrow. Kinda shoddy work, though. Definitely not one of mine, if that's what you're wondering. Some noob made that thing. Seems like something Dan might cobble together, though. Plus, I taught Cassie and Stacy how to make those a while back. Thanks for your time, Lizzie. That's all for now. Ready for Dan? Yeah. Send him in. Hey, I, I don't know what the other's been saying, but you, you have to listen. I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guy. Honest. I would never hurt anyone. You've got to believe me. If anyone's been wronged here, it's me. That enchanted flint is still everyone's talking about. I found that. That's mine. At least it was before someone stole it. And now everything's gone completely crazy. People getting caught in horrible traps, everyone accusing and blaming each other. That's why you invited everyone here, huh? Yeah. To find out who stole it. What? No, 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 no. I didn't invite anyone. That's not what's going on. I was invited here, same as everyone else. Uh-huh. I'm not the White Pumpkin. You've got to believe me. What can I tell you to convince you? Know anything about this? Oh, wow. Uh, no, I've never seen anything like that before. No? Tipped arrows not ringing a bell? Made using potions. Nuh-uh, but you want to know about stuff with potions? I'd ask Lizzie. She's way better with that stuff than I am. I always go to her with potion questions. Noted. So, how would you rate your redstone knowledge? Me? Oof, not much. Not really my scene. You want to know more about that stuff? You should ask Stampy. He was the tribe of champion. Out with it! Who stole the flint and steel? I, I... I don't know. I don't know anything about it. And you just expect me to believe that? Seems to me that your name's been coming up connected to that flint and steel a lot today. Yeah. Just come clean with me. You're the White Pumpkin, aren't you? Whoa, 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 no way, not me. That's just not true. You have to believe you me. You want your enchanted flint and steel back, and you built this whole house to get it. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't know how, honest. You can go now, Dan. Thanks, Jesse. Thank you. Oh, come on. This is nuts. You had a button, too. Fair's fair. It's your buddy's turn next. Hey, Jesse. Ah, my final suspect. Here to point more fingers and blame more people, I'm sure. I didn't push the button, you know. I figured. Thanks, though. How's it been going in here? 
It is just non-stop whispering and rumors out there. Me, Petra, and Ivor pretty much been sticking to ourselves. It's so hard to say. I mean, the way they keep throwing each other on the minecart tracks, it's like they're all guilty. Well, if there's one person who can untangle it, it's you. <laughs> Thanks, Lucas. Come on, suspect. It's time to return to the others. So? Have you decided? Yes. Who do you think the White Pumpkin really is? Now, hang on, hang on, everyone. First of all, I want to thank everyone for answering my questions. There's still not 100% proof of anyone, but... But... Yes. Where are your suspicions, Lady Jessie? Jesse was definitely questioning Stampy the longest. What? No! Dan was in there way longer. Hey, not cool. Guys, guys, come on. I actually don't think there's evidence enough to accuse anyone yet. What? Yeah, that seems surprising. I'm sorry, but I don't want to accuse anyone unless I'm 100% sure. And I'm not. Wow. Way to take a bold stance, Jesse. Well, I, for one, am not comfortable being surrounded by possible killers. So if you'll excuse me, I'm going to barricade myself in the library for my own safety. Fine. Suit yourself. Yeah. I'm more in the safety and numbers camp myself. <laughs> well, that was certainly some excitement. Yep. Yeah. No kidding. If the White Pumpkin is still roaming around, though, he might be trying to set up more traps. We need to figure out how these things work. Like, we know that the Sparkles trap was triggered by those buttons under the table. But yeah. what about the trap that turned Torque Dog into a pincushion? If we figure out how these things work, we might be able to find more proof about who the White Pumpkin is, how they're operating. Petra's got a good point. I'm not sure, but the White Pumpkin didn't trigger it until Torque Dog was in the exact right spot. That means he must have been watching from somewhere. Creepy. Yes. Yeah. Seems like it might be worth our while to poke around the kitchen. You guys go on ahead. I'm gonna stay here, keep an eye on these other people. I don't want them trying anything when we're not looking. Thanks, Lucas. Back in the kitchen. So, what are we looking for exactly? Buttons like back in the dining room? Conspicuous white pumpkins lying around? This whole house could be full of traps. I just want to make sure this place is safe before someone else gets hurt. An excellent plan. Yeah. Shut up, you. What's that? Painting of a creeper. Does this painting have eye holes? Oh, yeah. How would I not notice that before? Seems worth taking a closer inspection. I just put that up. Oh. Way. Very clever. What do you suppose that lever does? Okay, everyone. Make sure you're nowhere near that arrow trap. More of those potion-covered arrows. Nasty. Well, seems like we found out how the white pumpkin killed Torque Dog. Yeah, and how he's getting around the house. I assume we're investigating the creepy passageway? I think we've come too far to turn around now. Well, after you then. Damn, son. So what are we now? I hope Dan's okay locked up in the library. We could have put them in even bigger danger. What if there are more traps in there? Unless Dan is the White Pumpkin. In that case, we're just keeping everyone else safe. Yeah, I guess. I just hope we find what we're looking for. Yeah, so do I. What do you think that is? Lever. No! The amount of redstone wiring that must be hidden in this place. Amazing! Ivor, no! What do you think I am? Dense! I was just looking at it! Oh, good. Thanks for the vote of confidence, though. 
see anything that this lever might be connected to? Let's take a look, yeah. What do you see? It's the library! Dan locked up in there. Lizzie, what are you doing in here? I snuck in past that blonde guy. Lucas, I think. We have to talk. About what? I know you pushed the button. No, that's not true. You don't have to lie to me, Dan. I know it was an accident. I know you're not the white pumpkin. Oh, thank goodness. That's such a relief. Yeah, it was an accident, and I felt awful about it ever since. Oh, it's such a relief to be able to talk about this. It's been absolutely tearing me up inside. I'm sure. I just... Haven't you learned anything about not pushing buttons? The white oh, come on. Nothing like He's this has ever happened when I pushed the button. I feel just so awful. What on earth? Damn it! What's going on? Door's locked, Jesse! Spiders! They're everywhere! Okay, I'll see if I can get in another way! Everybody, swords out! Let's get them! Damn, way too close. Okay. Look out. Yeah. Ah. Soul sand. No. What happened? Come on, give me the cue. Where did he go? This guy's... This guy's fit! <laughs> there! Jesse, I'll cut him off! Sure you will. Hey. 
Tom. Give me a moment. I'm trying to figure this one out myself. Okay. Yeah, this looks pretty bad. What happened, Lucas? I thought you were chasing the white pumpkin. Uh, yeah, I was. And I almost had him until, you know, he took me by surprise and stuffed this pumpkin on my head. What? What's going on in here? No! Huh? You called the white pumpkin! Grab him, quick! On it! Get out of our way, Jesse. Yeah, it's all out in the open now. You can't defend your friend anymore. Come on, you guys, think about it. Lucas would have never had the time. That's not exactly much assurance. You two have been constantly running around this mansion with no one watching you. Yeah, for all we know, maybe you're his little accomplice or something. Oh, shut up. It's the facts, Jesse. These horrible things only started happening when your group arrived. And now, Lizzie has gone too. I say we throw him outside and let nature take its course. What? Out outside? Outside? Where all the googlies are? No, you can't do that. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I still have my suspicions about Lucas, but Jesse did save me. I don't feel right about chucking your friend to the zombies. Ha! Huh. Brave stats. Oh man, I'm so glad you said that. We really are just here to help. Fine. <sighs> Thank you. Don't go celebrating yet. We've still got to do something with you so you're not roaming around freely. What? Like, lock me up in a closet or something? There was a closet in the main hall with a lovely metal door. Seems like a perfect place to lock someone up. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I was mostly joking. I guess that's fair. But I'm keeping guard because I still don't trust him. That cool with everyone? That's not happening unless one of us goes along too. Yeah. That's fine, Jesse. I'll watch over Lucas. Awesome. Come on, Cassie. But don't go getting any funny ideas, blonde guy. This isn't because I like you or anything. Then why is it? No, of course not. Be quiet. Prisoners aren't supposed to talk. Okay. Well, what are we supposed to do now? We need to figure out how we're going to clear Lucas's name. And I'd like to do it sooner rather than later. Seems like some of these people are getting a little stir-crazy. Hello? Somehow, the White Pumpkin was able to escape that room when Lucas chased him into it. We need to figure out how he did that. Sounds like a plan to me. Secret passage. <clears throat> oh, nope. very locked. Wow, What's this? this looks promising. Yeah, it sure does. I wonder what order these need to be in. Well, first. I'm guessing this one is here. Okay, that seems like a step in the right direction. Then it was the sand, I guess. Right? Yes? Mm, yeah, that seems right. Yeah, and um, second one. Yeah, spiders and yeah, web and spiders. There we go. Awesome. Yeah, I get it, I get it. The first one died, Turk Dogs died of the arrows, second one because of sandstone, and the third one because of spiders. Oh wow, you got it open! Yeah, you guys should stay here. Could be dangerous. No, I totally want to follow you into your friend's creepy secret passageways. Ugh, seriously? You really think Lucas did it? You haven't proven that he didn't yet. Technically true. Hey, we're gonna prove he's innocent. You'll see. Sure, well, see you back here at quarter to never. 
Come on, Petra. Thanks for having my back. Wow, that is deep. Guess it leads down to whatever the white pumpkin calls home. I wonder how he gets down there. Maybe in addition to walking through walls, he can fly for all we know. Ugh! What's wrong, Petra? It's just... I'm really worried about Lucas. Those people think they're all safe, but the white pumpkin is still running around, and he could strike again at any minute. True, true. Not to mention, all those people back there have been so ungrateful, so petty. Ugh! It's just so frustrating. I know. Petra, I understand, okay? I'm with you. We're with you! You're right. I know you're right. <sighs> Come on. Sorry, Jesse. I just really needed to get that off my chest. We're gonna get through this. Let's start by figuring out how we're gonna get down there, huh? You know the drill. What have you got in your inventory? Didn't you have all those wood blocks? Sorry, I was whittling earlier. Nervous habit. Well, luckily, those should do just the trick. Oh, I see. A ladder. You thinking ladder? Oh, yeah. Gonna need a lot of them. I'll race you. <laughs> You're on. We've got a lot more of these to make. Let's get to work. There we go. Okay, that's one down. Lots more to go. <sighs> yeah, being a hero sucks. hope this works. You think we're gonna find the white pumpkin down here? With all these secret passageways? I'll be honest. I hope we do. And this time, he's not walking away with just a scar on his mask. Brutal. I like it. Yeah. Hey, do you hear... lots and lots of zombies? Yeah, I do. I'm starting to smell them, too. Ugh, ditto. Gross. Great. That's not a good sign. Oh, well, that explains all the zombie noises. actually made the sea of zombies outside? Probably. That's what it looks like. What's that? What's what? Whoa. I think this is where people's stuff goes after those hoppers upstairs suck it up. Right. I think that's Lizzie's. Okay. Where's the loot going from here? Hopefully, right to the white pumpkin. Hey, you see the light coming out of that tunnel too, right? Huh? Oh, yeah. And it doesn't look like it's blocked off like all the uh, zombie filled ones. If we can get up there. I think we might be able to follow the loot to wherever it's going. Well, that's awesome. Nice find. 
How do you want to get up there? Grab some dirt, Petra. We're going climbing. Right. Okay, I think we can jump from here. embarrassing thanks Jesse no problem anytime Petra anytime weird that almost sounds like cats yeah. Whoa. Ah! son of a bitch sort of growing station. Weird. The white pumpkin must have heard us. Ah! Stampy cat? Boy, you gave me a fright. What are you doing down here? What are we doing down here? Yes, it looks terribly suspicious, you know. Yeah, it does. Looks like we're catching you in the act, white pumpkin. No! No, not me! That's not me! I was just curious! Come on, you guys! I can't be the white pumpkin! I'm Stampy Cat! I'm no murderer! Huh? I needed to find you because I have something important to tell you! I have something to confess. Something I haven't told anyone. Where is this going? I stole it from Dan. It was just supposed to be a joke, a harmless prank, but then, well, you'll see what happened. Wow. Who'd have thought? I knew people wanted it, but I had no idea that, that this would happen. Oh, it's terrible. Well, why didn't you tell anyone? I was scared, okay? People started dying, and then I, I didn't want them to think that I did it. I may be a thief, but I'm no killer. But that white pumpkin is, and he's killing people for it. And now we're down in his lair. I was thinking maybe I should just give it to the white pumpkin. What? Just maybe that would make it all stop, right? Maybe? First, we need to figure out who this white pumpkin really is. Then we'll figure out what to do from there. I, I suppose that's a better strategy. That looks like a lair door, if I ever saw one. Right, yourself. Oh, wow. Very creepy. I would not put this in my top ten places I've ever been. Well, there's where the meowing's coming from. Don't worry. We'll get out of here as soon as we find something that proves the White Pumpkin's identity. Uh. Alright, so I'm gonna end this episode here, not to make it too long for you guys. And I hope I'll see you in the next episode of Minecraft Story Mode, Episode 6. Bye-bye, until then.